Alrighty, we're back and the napalm zombie got flattened, unfortunately, by the uh, train, which I couldn't personally help. So, now it's time to go get Jug. And uh, decrypting this message on there, it actually says shoot ice first, fire next, lightning third, and wind last. I'm guessing it's all these symbols we've been seeing around the map. Not too sure exactly what they do at this at this moment in time, but I'm excited to see what will happen. So shoot ice first. That did nothing, at least from what I could tell. Fire is like in the station we were just at. This is going to take absolutely forever. But we're in the process of getting perks back and maybe going for another box roll than anything else as well. So just keeping this in mind while we're, while we're doing that. But I do know... That you can upgrade these bad boys. You can upgrade the staffs. And I'm uh, going to show you guys exactly how we go about that. But unfortunately, you need to shoot fire next. Lightning third, wind last. If we shoot wind next, if that's what will come up, then it's going to screw up this whole sequence on that little uh, cipher text up on that wall. But I don't know. Maybe it's worth the risk because we do want to get an ultimate staff. I'm not too fast on finishing the map uh, necessarily. I'd rather just play it. I'm not too sure what you guys think. Would you rather see me complete the map, or would you rather see me just play the map and have fun? Because I'd rather have fun than, uh, you know, focus on an easter egg and make it a little less entertaining. <clears throat> if you guys get my drift. My Tokyo drift. Right, I've seriously got a shed load of... This is the only zombie left, so I don't want it to get flattened by the train. Uh, this is working pretty well at the moment. It'd be so lovely if I could just run to the next platform. But I can't. At least not at the moment. I need to start opening some pathways because it's actually really annoying having to wait for the train. Let's pop back on the train. That zombie is just... What is he doing? He's just running away from me, but whatever. I'll take that. <laughs> so in actual fact, if you want to upgrade these staff, it's actually a lot easier said than done, which is really surprised. surprising. All you need to do is, for the associated staff, there'll be a sign on the wall somewhere. You literally shoot that with your staff. And it will open to show an ultimate version. I believe that's the case. That's what I've been told. Interesting. But this map is beautiful. Look at the paper flying around in the air. Like that alone is just that is uh, that alone is just incredible. Come on, trade, move, move already, god damn you! Like I mentioned in the first part, guys. If you guys are enjoying this, do let me know by smashing the like button down below. Honestly. The support you guys leave my videos is absolutely humbling, and you guys just need to continue that support uh, if you guys enjoy what you're seeing, basically. <laughs> uh, I don't want to sound like, you know, I'm asking, but if you guys do enjoy it, then the, the option is always there, that's all I'm saying. Alright, one zombie left, come on! That zombie's literally just going, screw you! I'm going home! He's probably running through all the stations to get to me from the front end. If you manage to do that... That would be insane. The train would flatten him. And I would go, poor guy. Alright, come on. Come on, train! This is such an epic map. Like, it's interesting now that things like this have been put into zombies. Like, what, what else can custom zombies do now? It's insane. Like, we have a fully moving vehicle. Well, a fully moving object, I guess you could say. Alright, come on, let me out. Thank you very much, sir. Right, any staff related bits and bobs in here? I think this is. Right, if I shoot this. Nothing. What about. That's lightning. God damn. That's showing me one thing. Then it's showing me another thing. Alright, I'm gonna open this. I'm also gonna try and go for a different weapon. And we've got the. Scar H, okay. Not a bad weapon by any means. It should be able to get us a fair amount of points, definitely. Thing's not as strong as I thought it would be. Right, get back on this. There we go. And uh, while I'll reload this, I might chuck a grenade. <gasps> oh, crap. Alright, so I somehow got a nuke without realising, but that can't be the end of the round. It just wouldn't end. It wouldn't kill that many so quick. Yeah, there's still nine left. Will the wind staff be in the next station, guys? It will. Look at the view. Does this kind of weird turn at this sort of in this bit? But it's just insane. Imagine if the whole thing was textured and you could actually walk, run around in the tunnels. 
That'd be that would be ridiculous. All right. I have a feeling it might actually be in this one. And this is the worst station. All right, let's just let's just YOLO it. There is something at the end here, and I feel like this is going to be a pointless trip. It is. That's that's lightning. That does nothing. Squeeze past. There we go. Sorry, lads. Just squeezing past you. The train point is probably going to go. I was almost tempted to get that, but I won't. Um. No, we're done. Station. Please stand clear of the closing doors. It's a weird one. Well, the zombies are running towards the train. The train has a habit of running zombies over when you don't necessarily want it to. So that is uh, that is something. Definitely something. This has to be the station for the staff of wind. If not, then there is something crazy going on. But that underground bit is the secret station if you noticed it on the map. Pretty insane that the secret station holds, you know, that many staffs underneath it. Such a crazy map. So many secrets. Alright, come on. Trying to think here. Am I just going crazy? Have I have I missed the staff? Hmm. The zombies are properly dead now. I'm just thinking. Let's just go through here. Why not? Go through here. Just trying to get my bearings. Whereabouts are we again? So we shot ice first. We shoot fire next. Just like the cipher says. Not sure if it if it's affected by what you shoot it with. Right now, I'm just I'm like I'm really quiet because I'm concentrating. It's weird for me. Those zombies gonna get flat. This thing's got a ridiculous range, man. Like you can kill zombies from like across the damn map. It's so so cool. It's just a shame there's no like secret quick way to get to the next station from here anyway. And some of the zombies I can hear they're dying out on their own at Napalm. Let's take him out. You madman! Blowing up in everyone's faces. Causing a disturbance. So we've got six zombies left. Come, come back on the train. There we go. Good timing. Now I just hope all these like things I'm shooting with the staff is not pointless. <gasps> I'm nearly out of ammo. I'm really close to running out of ammo on the staff. I just hope that it's not pointless and actually, you know, the, the cipher does say that. So... The cipher should work. Or maybe it means actually pick that staff up and just shoot it. But I don't know. I've been around this map so many times. Things are starting to look the same. I'm starting to go a bit crazy. Let's ever go back to the cipher again. I think I've just messed it all up. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. Maybe I have because I've been shooting other stuff as well. Alright, I'm really confused. Alright. Let's start by shooting the ice. Just like it said. Shoot ice first. Fire next. Lightning third. Wind last. Do we involve shooting that stuff? Oh, uh, I almost thought that done something there, but it, I don't know. Please stand clear of closing doors. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, back to the professor stuff again. This is this is the professor's a madman. What I'm tempted to do is not kill the professor and just try this little theory of the cipher, and I will be back to shoot the wind last to see what happens because I don't want to spend too much of you guys running around when I'm not doing anything that's too crazy. If you get what I'm saying, so I'll be back in a second, guys. Holy crap! So I kind of ignored the cipher stuff. I came down here and I shot that. Oh, this is now I've got the ultimate staff. What the hell, man? I've got Berea's Fury. I feel tempted to pick up another one. Oh, it won't let me. Interesting stuff. It won't let me. Right, I'm going to upgrade the Scar H because this thing's a beast. But it's just not packing a punch at the uh, at the level of the round anymore. Honestly, the thing is draining me. Want to know how I got those scars? There's a Joker reference there. And a very good one at that. And we've just got a panel here which we can't use yet. Obviously, Easter egg related. Sort that one out. I'm just thinking, can I switch? It wouldn't let me switch before. No, it won't let me switch them. Interesting stuff. That teleporter isn't actually a teleporter by the, scene, by the looks of it. It's not actually letting us do anything. But still, I didn't. I shot the ice first. I'm looking for the fire. And I haven't managed to come across it yet, which is strange. Hmm. Oh, I think this is the next station. Come on. There it is. Don't you dare. Don't you dare leave without me. Thank you very much, train. I don't actually think there are any... I don't know, like, I don't feel like for this run anyway, I should focus on stuff like this Easter egg. I feel like just, you know, having fun and uh, just, you know, seeing how far we can get with these staffs is what I'm most looking forward to out of anything else. So, um, if you guys do want me to do another run where it's just Easter egg related, do drop a comment, let me know. But I don't know, for a change, rather than try and finish a map, which you guys do enjoy watching, but not necessarily something that I want to focus on in this part it'd be more fun if we could just, you know just have a bit of fun oh my god in that space they would get absolutely mofo take some out quick there's still one more left it's probably some sort of napalm zombie yeah, i'm sure there's other people that have already figured out how this easter egg works and to be honest i'm not too fussed on it at the moment all right let's just go for rounds let's have a bit of fun you know, YOLO, you only live once. Probably the napalm walking about. He's gone a little bit lost, but yeah. Now it's time to focus on simply doing rounds and just having fun. And uh, we're going to go back to the first first station now. Just have a bit of fun. So this should be good. So here it is. The napalm zombie you just got screwed over by my staff of wind. It feels good. I used the... Um, Wonder Fizz, and I've got myself Electric Cherry, which is good. But now let's just go for a high round. Not focus on the, the bloody stars, focus on the Easter egg. Screw it, just want to have some fun. See, I've got Electric Cherry, you don't actually see the uh, electrifying shiz of the effect from the perk, but just a little bit of disappointment, you don't really know what's going on, but then you hear that little electric, electric buzz and everything feels good, so I um, don't want to jinx it, hopefully we can last quite a while it would be good I'm trying to charge this thing up as well it's just not having any of it but it is pretty beast like it's ridiculously powerful and now we got ourselves in skill we see ourselves surviving for quite a while and I try to switch out the staff and at the moment I can't which is interesting I don't know maybe if you put the staff back in its place maybe we can pick up another one maybe that is how it works uh, I mean, we could test that out. Now, I'm all about surviving right now, getting through those high rounds. It's always just finishing the map and then you're out and then you're done. I don't really like that. I'm able to, you know, go in for a high round, you know. And the train's left, so I can't go ahead and see if my little theory's right. But we've got ourselves an insanely strong staff anyway. We've got ourselves time. We've got bags of time. I'm just going to keep building points. Oh my god, Animax ammo? I'm in heaven. 
I need them. Go. If there's a way for us to get to Station 3 from here, that would be beautiful. But we can't. I just realised that uh, train there is actually from the Black Ops 2 map. Oh, what's it called? Oh man, it escapes my brain, but you guys know which map I'm talking about. It's 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 a great map for search and destroy on Black Ops 2, and uh, it is such a good map, and that train's there, and it's all rusty. The frick, let me up! Let me up! You oh my god, that was, that could have turned out ugly. Jesus, I actually thought we were goners there, simply because of just a little bad map bit here and there. I'm really enjoying this. I'm actually really enjoying this map. Double points seem to last ages as well. Alright, it's so around 22 coming up. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. And I didn't read what that said. Zictrin Karatek. Whoa! Hello! Didn't expect you to turn up. Didn't expect you to be in my face. And what's annoying is you can't have more than four perks. Like most custom maps just let you have four, more than four perks. Because it's just, it's just the way it goes. But uh, on this one you can only have four. Even if you try to use the Wonder Fizz, you will not get any more. Which is a bit of a shame. But that's the way it goes. The heck? Someone's just chilling. And now he's gone. Now you see them, now they're blown into smithereens. Man, I have so many points. Like, this would come in handy like uh, 10 rounds ago. And it's actually, this place is actually pretty difficult for training. Like, the spots are not easy. As you can see, it will come to me. My pretties. We won't, we won't get the nuke because that's just a massive waste. Right now, this is gorgeous. Look at all the zombies. These are based off Mob of the Dead. Oh, another max ammo. I will get that in a second. Thank you, game. I wonder if I can get them from all the way over there. Let's go get it. There we go. We are wrecking. We are wrecking right now. This is disgusting. 24,000 points. There is no Bible ending, I'm pretty sure. But if there was... We'd be freaking onto it by now. No, I love the professor in this map. It's just so, so well done. Where is this bad boy? It's just like, from all the classic maps, you had these different, like, you know, features and stuff. Like, five had the professor. It's like, what are they going to bring next? Oh, crap. Hello, sir. Come towards my pit of fire. I'm going to piss him off. Sorry about the vibration, guys. I'm going to... Oh, man. I was going to annoy him so he could run in the fire and then get burnt. But decided to just do that instead. Now, they just feel like they should do something, but they're not. I don't know. It's weird, but we're just waiting for the train to come back. What I like to do is though, like it feels like when I play with maps and I'm done with them, I never post them again. But I know I've done it for a map called Rise where I played it and then I came back and revisited it. And I'd love to revisit this map at some point. Like I mentioned before, you know, do the easter egg. Have a bit of fun. Whoa! Have a bit of fun. And uh, that's what I'd like to do. So, don't fret guys about the easter egg. I will do it for you at some point. Oh, Nuke, we don't want that. Crap! You hear that many volts going through the zombies? Absolute madness. Alright, taking through this little tight corridor. There's no way they can spawn behind or anything like that. That would be insane. I don't even know why I'm grinding points. Because we don't need them. 